Hello, welcome back. I'm glad you've returned, and uh, now I can give you a little more details about my setup than I did in the first video. So let me start off with my TV over here and remote. So this remote, if you haven't heard of it, is probably the, the best universal remote you can get. And that's not bad because this one cost me $40 or $38, because I got it brand new, well not brand new, but new factory refurbished off of eBay. And they usually go for 60 on Amazon right now. And yeah, it's the older version of Harmony. Their new ones have smartphone apps and hubs and do fancy things that I don't really care about. I would much rather have a physical remote in my hand that has big buttons. You know, and I think most people are like that. And after playing with, with some smartphone apps and, uh, you know, trying to do universal remotes that way, I just decided, you know, this, a big thing in my hand with buttons, so much better. For one thing, you can't push buttons on a touch screen without looking at the touch screen. And that's what you want to do with a remote, is you want to look at the screen, not the remote. So that's one, what this remote does well. And it's still the number one bestseller on Amazon, if you look, when it comes to universal remotes. So, and you, you, um, you do all the programming on your computer. You don't have to punch in codes or do anything weird like that. You plug this in, you use their app, and um, you do all the programming there, and it's super simple and... You know, I thought maybe I'd have trouble with some of the advanced things I wanted to do with it. But actually, no, it, um, it all went very smoothly, and I've been able to do some advanced things with it without having to spend days trying to figure it out. It just took a few minutes. You know, and the, the most advanced thing I did might have taken a couple hours of playing with it to get it right. So anyway, let me just hit Watch TV here. And what Watch TV will do is it's going to turn on the TV and the receiver. It's going to set the receiver to the right channel. And uh, it's going to come up automatically with my Cody. And now I can control Cody with the remote, just like a DVD player. And... Um, you know, yeah, I have I have a few movies scattered in my server, but you know, most of the time it's Blu-ray, Laserdisc, all that fun stuff. But um I think one of the the one thing that I use this the most for is the Twitch add-on. And uh, it actually works very well. Like I was expecting it to be kind of janky, kind of not be perfect. But it actually works extremely well and probably better in a lot of ways than official apps because this is one made by someone else, uh, a fan. And you know, YouTube also works very well. I've played with that some. Haven't really played with the others yet. I just installed them. I just got this running like um, within the last couple weeks. But, um, yep, and if you're wondering how the remote works and how Cody works... Cody is an open source media center program that work, runs on Linux and it can pretty much run on anything you have to throw at it. You know, if you have an old Apple TV, if you have an Amazon TV box, things like that, you can run Cody on it. Right here, I have an FLIRC um, infrared sensor that is a USB, plugs into computer. And I have that on an extension cord, and it is um, just taped down there next to the receiver. So yeah, that's the computer that runs Kodi, and it's a, uh, it's been beefed up a lot from its original state. Yeah, it's got a quad core, four gig of RAM, uh, a little video card in there. So it can pretty much kick butt in the uh, 
in the video realm. And I used to have Windows on here, you know, and I used to have a wireless keyboard and mouse set up. And, you know, after dealing with that for a while, it just got really old and uh, hard to deal with. So I gave up on a few of the few of the special features that you can do with a Windows PC and traded it in for Cody and Cody's been wonderful even though there might be a couple things I have to sacrifice um, it's definitely worth it because it's so much simpler everything just works well and works like a like a streaming box should yeah, and in my bedroom, I have Cody on a Raspberry Pi 2, which has also been working wonderfully. But uh, we don't do as heavy-duty stuff on there, so it's, uh, it works out all right. All right, well, I hope you found this little video helpful and enjoyable, and subscribe to the channel so you can uh, see some of my new upcoming videos, and we can delve more into the home theater setup and check out filmnerdcory.com that's where I'm kind of putting some of my uh, enthusiast blogs here and I hope to catch you next time